welcome to my channel. This is Game and Look Grandma. All right, guys. Last night, me and my son watched Five Nights at Freddy. And if you know, I'm wearing my Halloween Halloween shirt. Um. So, how was the movie? Fantastic. I loved this movie. I mean, I don't play uh, Freddy, Five Nights at Freddy. Um, I have both of them. I have Five Nights at Freddy and Sister Location. Um, but I literally enjoyed this movie. Uh, I love the fact they were building a fort. <laughs> you got to realize they're kids, you know, and what do kids do? They build forts, you know? Um, I like the fact of they were really nice to the little girl. You know, when I heard her scream, I was just like, oh, no, don't kill off the first person. And I found out something. They weren't killing her. I was like, yay. Uh, <laughs> and how the guy reacted. Ha ha, funny guys. Ha ha ha, you can come out now. And no one came out and he's like, how are they being controlled? Well, by the children. Um, and the cool thing is she was drawing pictures before she even went there, uh, which is insane. Um, I like how the, <laughs> the cab driver is actually a YouTuber. Um, and I loved, I loved his acting because <laughs> he's always playing scary games and stuff. Um, I'm not going to give away his name because I want you to got guys to, um, experience that. It's hilarious. Um, now when the, um, when the credits roll, watch it all the way through. Cause there's a scene in the middle of that. Uh, I did not know this. My son said, no, we got to watch the credits because there's something, um, in it. And I'm like, oh, Okay. Um, I don't know why people didn't like it. Um, but seriously, the robots moved perfectly. I love the transitions that they did. Um, it was all right. Uh, I mean, it was, it was fun. I wouldn't mind watching this movie 122 times. I absolutely loved it. Um, the robots were good. The transitions were good. The acting was good. And I like the fact of the kids didn't even know they were dead. Um, I think the fact of they thought they were still alive. Um, which is really weird. I mean, you would imagine they would know because they're like in the robots, but they didn't they didn't like realize it. Um, but I love the one part, um, the babysitter in this. What happened to her, I was just like, oh, <gasps> You gotta be kidding me. That was the best death. I mean, if they would have showed, you know, her going in the mouth, you know, and screaming, she didn't have a chance to scream. Um, I don't know. I just love, I love the, the characters, the, the storyline. It was very well put together. I kudos. I want another one. I want part two. I want a part two. And the cool thing is, me and my son were saying what this character was. He was in Scooby-Doo. He was in 13 Ghosts. He was in Scream. Um, he was in Scream. Oh, he was only in the first Scream. Um, <laughs> I love this actor. He is fantastic to be a psychopath. <laughs> his his what do you call it mantras is intense I loved it I absolutely love this movie I literally would watch it over and over now I watched it earlier and you know I'm like eh, it's okay and then I watched it the second time and I actually liked it more uh the second time I watched it um, if you guys get Peacock, it's on Peacock. Or you can go watch it in the theaters. I guarantee if you like Five Nights at Freddy, you're not going to be disappointed. I'm telling you. There's so many people that are criticizing it. Why would they be able to for They're kids. They're little children. What do you expect? W what are they going to do? Have a picnic? No, kids don't have picnics. They build forts. 
Well, yeah, if you don't like the movie, it's fine, but I loved it. If you're going to diss someone who does like the movie, then... Yeah, if you're going to diss somebody that, you know, doesn't like the movie and criticize you, uh, that's wrong. They should never criticize someone on their opinion. So if you guys are seeing so much negative feedback, you know, there's so many movies out there that people give negative reviews and they end up selling more than normal. Um, There was several movies that came out and they were like, oh, they're crap. And I watched them and they were really enjoyable. Um, Me and my son were talking about the new Poltergeist. I absolutely loved it. Um, And I wasn't comparing it to the first one um, because it was a whole new thing. So literally you have to take the first one that came out and erase it from your memory and then watch that one. Um, Because it wasn't trying to, I mean, there were several scenes, yeah. um, But I enjoyed it. I love the fact with the clown and the ball and it was creepier. It was very much scarier. Um, and the boy went in to save his sister. So that was different. Um, I absolutely love that movie. Um, what other movie that everybody complained about? I'm trying to think. I can't even think. Oh, Halloween 3. I agree. It was bad. It was really, really horrible. Um, I didn't care for it. It was... It didn't make any sense. I mean, Michael Myers, come on, really? You're going to bring in something that's weird? I don't know what they were thinking with three. But, um, uh, I wanted to show you guys. I did all my notes. I got all my notes for my class. All, I don't know how many pages. Um, this one's thick. This one's thicker. Um, (laughs) This chapter was short as I'll get up one page. Um, And then I have this one, which was pretty thin. And then the thick one is this one. So in school, we're doing uh, 5, 5, 5, 6, 5, 7, and 5, 8. But he wants us to do 5, 5, and 5, 8. So um, I plan on doing all of them um, because I'm doing really well. And, I mean, I already printed everything out. Um, But when I go back to class, um, I want to make sure that I get all of it done. Um, But when I go to my class uh, online, um, not Tuesday, but tomorrow, um, I have to rewatch all the videos. And because we got labs in that, so I, I I want exactly to know what to do. Um, Plus, some of the videos that we have on there are important for, uh, like, a disc fragment, cleaning your disc drive, because I don't know how to do that. So, I'm going to have to watch those videos, too. But uh, I'm playing games. I just wanted to do a review of Five Nights at Freddy, which I'm probably going to watch again. (laughs) The first time I watched it, I was like, okay, this is kind of cool, you know. Oh, 10. Absolute 10. I love the characters. I love the acting. I love how they were building a fort. I still can't believe that the girl, the whole time the girl, I'm not going to spoil it, but good grief. Um, And I loved how the little girl, you know, she grew from a, a shy drawing pictures and it's like she transitioned to a normal kid. Um, she didn't have any mental illness, but you know, some of the stuff in the movie, she was perfect. She was absolutely perfect. I loved her character. I loved how she grew from this to this. Um, I love the guy working there. Um, when I first was watching it, I was like, oh, this makes sense because they use those um, to, you know, most people are like, well, Five Nights at Freddy is just watching screens. Not really. Not really. Um, yeah, the first one was nothing but watching the, the screens. But 
how can you make a movie out of just watching screens when someone's already played the game and know exactly what's going on? Um, you can't base uh, a movie just sitting there watching screens. And I love the fact of when he'd go to sleep, he'd dream his dreams, and they were insane. Um, and his dreams ended up being like a reality type thing. So the, I love that. I love that fact of it. Um, I don't know. I, I just, I enjoyed the movie. I really hope they have a part two. I hope they don't listen to all the mumbo jumbo of people, you know, complaining about the movie and that it sucked. And if you're into the games, you know, and you like Five Nights at Freddy, you will enjoy this. Um, it's like a, a, a blast from the past, you know. Um, I love Bonnie. Bonnie was my favorite. Um, let's see. Uh, and, um, of course, Freddy. And then the, uh, Tidge. I gotta have my son tell me what it is. What was the yellow one? The yellow one? Yeah, with the beak. With the beak? That's Chica. Chica. Okay, Chica. And then what was the other one? <coughs> Foxy. Foxy. Bonnie. Bonnie. Uh, Freddy Fre Fred Freddie Fazbear and Springtrap. And Springtrap. Yes, I enjoyed all of it. The robots were amazing. I literally when I was watching it, I thought, "Oh, it's going to be like crappy and the robots aren't going to respond the way they should." No, it it succeeded. My son rated it a 10, I rated it a 10, his wife rated it a 10. So if you haven't seen it, don't listen to everybody else on the internet saying that it's a bad game or bad movie or whatever. Um, yeah, go see it. Go see it because I enjoyed it. I'm not a Five Nights at Freddy person. Um, I really didn't get into the game. It didn't scare me. But, you know, when I first watched it, I'm like, this ain't even scary. You know, why isn't it scary? And then my son told me it was PG-13. And I'm like, ah, that's why. Um, there's not barely any blood. Um, I'm going to ask my grandbaby if she wants to watch it this weekend. And um, because she's thir she's not 13 yet, she's nine. Um, so it might be too scary for her yet. Um, but yeah, you got to go see it. It's, it's really good. It's really put together. The actors are amazing, like I said. You know, everything in this movie is everything I imagined for Five Nights at Freddy. Or five, wait. Five Nights at Freddy, yeah, you're right. No, I know, but what, what does it say on the sign? Uh, Freddy Fazbear, I think. Yeah, Freddy Fazbear is the uh, logo. But I can't believe, uh, we at the end, you guys find out who the owner is, which I thought was a, like, wow. <laughs> I did not realize. Poor babysitter, though. <laughs> what do you think about the babysitter, bro? <laughs> I'm going to get my son's advice. <laughs> the babysitter. What did you think of that one? <laughs> yeah. You guys got to go see it. It's hilarious. I loved it. It was very enjoyable. And I'm going to watch it again. <laughs> because if you watch a movie... And you're like, eh, it's okay. You watch it a second time and you actually enjoyed it. A third time, I wonder what it's going to be like. Um, it was really, really enjoyable. And it being on Peacock saved us tons because it's like $20 to go to a theater to go see it. Um, if you're spending $20 on the movie and you're really not fond of Five Nights at Freddy and you played the games, go see the movie. Um, cause if you played the games and you're like, ah, oh, it ain't scary. It's kind of boring. And well, you know, I mean, they got multiple Five Nights at Freddy's, but if you're a Five Nights at Freddy's person, go see it. It's worth it. It's worth every penny. You know, if I had to go into the theater and watch it and had to wait till it come out on DVD, I literally would buy it. Matter of fact, we're buying it for his girlfriend and sending it to her. My son even said, I want to buy it on Xbox. Um, because if you have it on Peacock, um, it's going to eventually be removed. 
um, just like Halloween. I think it was Halloween Kills. It was on for a short time, and then they took it off. So, but yeah, go see the movie. It's awesome. I loved it. Um, and I'm not a Five Nights at Freddy person. So, uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was very good. It was very good. And I'm glad that they didn't do all the blood and the guts and all that. It didn't need it. It it seriously honestly, didn't need it. Honestly, a horror movie doesn't have to be good. Yeah, a it's horror movie really doesn't horror have movie. to it's be like really bloody or. It's not really a horror movie, honestly. Yeah, it's not like a horror horror. No, like scary, not. scary. If you're going it's to get not. scared, uh, your kids would probably be more scared than you yeah. would. Um, I yeah, mean, it's I mean, not it's a just scary. Just yeah, if you're into scary movies and that, it's not going to scare you. Yeah, it's not meant to scare you. They don't need jump scares or any of that. So if you're looking for like a horror movie, like scary jump scares, all that, this movie isn't for you. Um, but if you're looking for something that's entertaining and just funny, just funny. Yeah, great storyline. Yeah. It, it it's it's kind of funny how they how they do stuff, but I don't wanna I don't wanna give anything. Uh, you guys, I really want to give away from all the information, but I'm not going to. So, you guys, let me know in the comments if you've seen it and what you think of it, and I will see you guys next time. This is Grandma signing out. Adios, amigos. Go see it. I'm out. Uh...